Hey guys, it's Bug. Welcome back to Mediocre Arts and Crafts. Today, this is just one of the tags that I will make from this sheet of Doodlebug tags. Stay tuned and I'll take you through it. Today I am um, in the living room watching the big TV while I uh, do some cutting and gluing. The guys are out of the house uh, watching a movie out in the wild. So that's exciting. And I decided to move out here. I'm going to be watching some really bad crime TV and probably some Hallmark Channel uh, Christmas in July movies while I um, doctor up some tags. So I'm going to start with a sheet of actually two sheets of this paper from Doodlebug. And this is called Christmas Magic. I think it was, um, maybe it was last year or the year before, but I have a stack of it in my stash. And so I went ahead and cut these down and uh, will be adding a little bling to them and matting some of them and kind of uh, adding some dimension so that, uh, you know, you get a handmade item, but it just is hinging on the fact that it's a super cute doodle bug image. Um, I was chatting with somebody recently about doodle bug designs and they are super cute. And to me, it feels like that's not really like my crafty identity, the super cute, but I still love to play with this paper. So uh, this is kind of fun for me because I'm not really um, designing a whole project around it. Um, I know I did the uh, recipe book. If you saw that video, I can link it below if you're into Doodlebug. And I also did a flip through of the cards that I made from the remainder of the pack. Um, it's not something that I keep in my card stock or in my stash for regular use. So at the time that I was using that made with love paper for the recipe album, I decided to just uh, use it all up and create some cards as well. So I went ahead and purchased from scrapbooks.com a couple sheets of the Doodlebug Christmas paper. These ones have um, Christmas trees on one side and dots on the other. And I got this super cute washi tape, which is just like a garland with some lights on it. The sticker book that is green, pinks, and reds um, that are all Christmas theme. And some shape sprinkles and sprinkles which are enamel dots and here's the flip side of the paper so I get started by uh, clipping off the ends of these and uh, cutting them into the tag shape and I'm just gonna let the video go and I'm gonna watch the TV and get some crafting done
So this tag I just layered on some of that Christmas tree paper. Use some enamel dots, some of the washi. This one is uh, pretty much the same, except for that I additionally used this uh, punch. The ribbon tails, it is one of my kind of favorite kind of go-to tools that when I need to add a little something, I like to grab it. I used it a bunch in these. And then this one I layered on glitter paper with some gems and this is actually a hex that's behind it that I punched out on some glitter paper. This one I have these little um, polymer clay uh, like peppermints, tiny peppermints. And this one I went ahead and put the red twine and then I drew, drew, and I tied a bow with the uh, green baker's twine. This one on silver paper, I didn't even uh, add anything to this except um, I used one of the Avery um, reinforcers in the metallic and so this is a silver one to match the backing and then I used that punch again out of the red and gold glitter paper and then um, used my tiny stapler to staple those on this is blue a blue staple you can't really see it though um, then got a couple more here here's another one hot cocoa weather I really uh, love the imagery of <laughs> coffee, hot cocoa, beverages. I love a hot beverage. And so I used the um, peppermints with this one as well since it has the peppermint on it. And I used the gold or I think that's gold reinforcer there on that paper, which of course is upside down because that's how you do. In this one, I used some of these sparkles the um and they're not sparkles yeah shape sprinkles from a doodle bug that i got from scrapbook.com i just got those this week to match some of the paper that i had this guy's super cute and just like the image in the tag which i'll show you next he is winking just put another one of those and then some of those little hearts then these ones I cut a big gold uh, circle and I cut this guy out of one of the tags with a smaller circle punch, of course. And then I put stockings and snow on this one or, and then um, a little strip of the red paper and a reinforcement. Then I have this one where I cut the tag into two pieces and added some washi and the bottom of the tag ends up over here it says have a tremendous christmas um i put a gold or gold a glitter red piece of uh punched paper behind the tree and just one little uh blue enamel piece and this is the last one from the doodle bugs that i did this is, um, you know, obviously it's a piece of red cardstock. I put um, some of the silver glitter paper behind this gingerbread that I just kind of fussy cut. I didn't even really do a great job. And then this piece, uh, I actually put a piece of the washi tape here, but it, you might be able to tell that the washi is kind of translucent. So. I went ahead and took the piece of paper that holds the washi tape roll to the um, to the paper loop and um, adhered that down and then added some of those peppermints to accent the food theme. So again, I just wanted to demonstrate how you can take some of your designer paper and add a few little things to it while you're sitting watching TV and make something that looks, uh, you know, 
nice and handmade and special. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment if you are making tags this year uh, during Christmas in July, or if that's just a little too early for you, let me know that as well. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.